all right so welcome back to the channel uh in this video what i want to do is to look at how we can install view the well what am i saying how we can install a view router in an existing view project and this is the view components or the view the five components project that we've been working on uh for the past series so i decided to just use this because we do not have the view router installed in this i thought it would be the perfect um one to use i actually recorded this this uh video already but the audio quality wasn't great it was quite low and for some reason no my my mic isn't working all that great the audio quality is quite crappy i don't know i don't know why i need to start it out but let's get this video uh recorded so i already have the server running uh here so I, as you can see it's already open and i have the project open on here uh i have to revert the commit to get it back to to this stage so what we're gonna do now is just to do uh to get it installed so firstly i want to just mention that there are, there are a couple of ways that you could actually in install a view router into uh, a project you can use a cdn for one you can use npm or probably the yarn as well to do the installation you can use a cli which is what we're going to be using and you could also do the dev build which basically comes right from the repository um the github repository uh so what we're going to use is the cli service because what it's going to do is basically automate most of the process that we're going to be using if we we're supposed to use npm we would have to do some manual configuration but for the cli it's pretty much auto config most of the stuff for us uh we're just gonna do some cleanup after we would have uh install everything so to do this one thing you need to have is to ensure that you have view so to check for view you can just type view and there's enter me i'm just gonna go ahead and get the version and this should tell me that i'm on uh, the view cli version 4.5.13 which is the latest version to date uh yeah as of three or four days ago so i have view installed so to install view router now it's quite simple it's just view add and router and press enter and this should to some extent i believe it will just use either npm or yarn to actually do the installation but because of the cli server it, it, it does it in a more sophisticated way and does the other configurations for you so there we go it's just installing the cli package and as you can see we also have yarn add uh, so we're using yarn anyway, so that's that All right, so now it's asking us if we want to have the history mode uh, Activated so basically what this is going to do is because of how browsers were set up uh, before when this whole internet uh, stuff really started our web stuff Usually what they would have is this hashtag symbol in there. So and I think that's a uh, that's a default way of doing things, but we can view this or uh, can mimic that or something like that to some extent. It's kinda of hard to explain because I'm not really hundred percent sure about it. But what if I click on having this remote activated, basically what it's gonna do is to remove the hashtag from there. I say no then it's gonna have the hashtag in there so that's just basic the baseline behind it so when I click on yes all right perfect so that did not take uh, very long what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and run the server again and in the meantime or just gonna do is just do some configuration in the in the background as well so we're gonna do yarn serve and this is running in the background so basically the change we're going to just go ahead and, and take a look at the changes that, that is going to happen the yarn that lock file is going to be updated but that's not something that we need to be very much worried about 
for the package that Jason is going to add the view router I want to believe that it's the latest version but I'm not 100% sure I think it is and it's also going to have the CLI plugin uh, here as well so this is the router CLI plugin so it's gonna have that as well so these are just the, the two things that were added along when we did the installation basically so one thing well they complement each other so yeah they're, they're different uh, in the source we, we now have two different folders that are added we have a views folder that we did not have before and we also have a router folder which is where all the routes will be stored in this index.js file uh, usually it was I believe it was the router.js initially when I just started using uh, Vue.js uh, some time back and this is a configuration basically we're importing view we're importing the view router as well and then we're just importing the different uh, comp pages or components uh, depending on how you look at it because all that view files are components yeah so that's pretty much it and then we're basically doing view that use this is where all the routes will be registered be depending on how you want to configure it this is the best way I believe you could also put this right down here in the the constant uh, variable or whatever here. You can actually put it right down here if I remember correctly. But this is the standard way of doing it. Now, here we are basically importing this view here, but from here we're basically doing some lazy loading uh, using uh, using a webpack chunk chunk name which. Which give gives it the the lazy loading uh, feature on on route visitor and stuff like that for code splitting, which just makes uh, gives you a better performance overall. Again, as mentioned before, we're using the history mode. Uh, I don't remember what the other one is. Uh, to be honest, I'm not even gonna try. It. I don't really remember what it was. The other one was, but yeah, or hash. I think it's the other one was hash mode. Uh, as I mentioned and they were basically just exporting router as a uh, just exporting globally basically for the routes for the views here there's just the, the, the typical pages we have this about us page and we have this home page which is basically gonna have this in here which we're gonna have to configure as well because it's gonna give us an error we do not have a hello world component in here we only have these components which i'm going to go ahead and add a uh, little bit from now it before i do that i'm just going to look at the app that view in the main address uh well let's look at the app that view first so in the app that view a uh, file which is the main file it changed pretty much everything that was here this is where we initially we imported all or components so that we can view them and we can click to them but now what we have is router links that will take us to the different pages and it by default it gives us this navigation here so you can see we have uh, uh, a nav going from left uh, left to right I believe yeah so we have a home nav we have a link to the home and we have one to the about us page and then we have some SCSS to the style of links when they're active and stuff like that and style that the whole app so everything that comes in here in this div here is basically the style in them I'm gonna see but most likely basically what we're getting however is just uh, how the link is when it is active the color that we're going to be giving it and stuff like that that's that for the main address file what we the only thing that was added here is just the exporting of the router as mentioned before in where is it in the index.js uh, the router file here you can as I mentioned before we're exporting it so we're basically just importing it right here and then using it in our main view instance right here uh, let's see if this is, is installed so again as mentioned before it was gonna throw an error because we do not have a component called hello world so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and configure this 
here so what I'm gonna do is just change this to uh, can I I wanna select all of these and we're going to just change this to the login component so all of these are now the login component it doesn't have a prop so we're gonna remove this and we don't have well yeah we have this image here so we can leave it but it's going to affect how this, the thing looks so it's not necessary so let's save this all right there we go so sit over here and if I should refresh this you will see now that we have we still have the component because I've imported it but now we can we have this nav up here that we can switch to a different page so I can switch to the about page and we can also switch back to the home page and depend moving forward what we can do is we can switch to the register component as well the register page and stuff like that basically by just clicking different links that we have here and that is all through the the view router that we just installed and one thing that i must highlight is that everything is being done through this right here so this is extremely important if this is not here then there is no routing so if i comment this out and save this uh let's see if it's yeah so now you can see that we're not seeing anything here at all so you want to ensure that you have that view router that uh router view here because that's the only way that the actual routing actually occurs so you want to ensure that you have uh that there so this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we will look at how we can add or configure some of these links that they take us somewhere so again that's that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one